Lois and I uh, have the wonderful pleasure of being in Copenhagen as part of a tour that we're taking of the capitals of Scandinavia. We started in Helsinki. This is our second stop here in Copenhagen. We've enjoyed it enormously, and we have a very special opportunity here uh, to visit with our friends and to see his collection of uh, memorabilia associated with Tadeo and other widescreen processes. And uh, I'm delighted that uh, we have an opportunity to see Tadeo like we might have seen it uh, almost 40 years ago <laughs> on a small screen. <laughs> So this is a remarkable situation where we have a huge projector and a very small screen, but optically these are equivalent anyway, so uh, as long as we were sitting close to the screen. We could never sit this close to a real part of the screen because uh, we would have blocked the, uh, the, 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 the projected image. No, thank you very much, Thomas, for the opportunity. Lois? Well, <clears throat> Walter pretty much has covered it. I think it's a, it's a, it's a wonderfully nostalgic trip because here to review, just to re remember and relive all of the uh, interesting time that we had during Tadeo. It was, must have been 40, how many years ago? 45? About 45 years ago. 45 so. years oh, ago. Or more. 47 maybe, years ago. Because it was the year our first child was born. And I remember. 45. I mean, 1950. Leaving this tiny baby with somebody as overnight and going to the uh, to the opening in New York City. So I have very, you know, very fond and, and, and happy and good uh, remembrances. It's good to see it, to sort of come back in touch with it again. The evening performance uh, was in fact um, formal. Yeah. And uh, I think I may have even have rented a tuxedo for the occasion. I know that the, that the ladies that were helping us print uh, the, uh, the uh, 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 release print of Oklahoma were dressed in their finest, having seen them for a long time wearing casual clothes while they were working for us. But there they were in their in their long dresses and uh, looking very, very sharp. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, uh, at, the, at the opening. <laughs> sound, it wouldn't be nearly as popular as it is now. <laughs> Do you remember seeing these sequences? No, no those are not me. I okay. never have seen them. I, I, I think I have some clips from the same basic uh, uh, thing. And in fact, one of the pictures I carry with me is, is a clip from that same sequence. Unfortunately, it, it just shows the, uh, the, 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 the color chart yeah. right in front of the, the actress's face. Okay. <laughs> we don't get any appreciation of the actress. But I saw some other clips of, um, of like the ones with all the girls 
surrounding yep. the the, uh, the pool or something like that. I remember seeing those clips in the early days, but uh, I don't know that any of us was paying that close attention to that problem. We had we had our we had our own problems with developing the screen and and then uh, developing the the, the, the uh, printing the, uh, yep. machine. And Henry Cole, of course, who played some major role later in the printing machine, was off in California, uh, sitting on the doorstep of, um, of uh, the Mitchell Company, uh, you know, essentially making sure that they stayed on target for, for the uh, manufacture of the, of the uh, Thaddeo cameras. But one of the things that was in that story, that, that one, one type of camera that was not mentioned in the story that you gave me the copy of, was the Thomas color process. Yeah. And you're familiar with that. It had, I think, an eight-hole pull-down, and it produced three color separation uh, pictures on one black and white film, which would then be uh, 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 projected with color filters as an additive process. And uh, it came too late, I think, to be effective. I mean, by that time, um, other color processes were, were, were well entrenched, like, you know, like uh, uh, Technicolor, color, for example, it was, it was well entrenched at that point. So that camera was just uh, lying around, and I think it was one. Of, it was the first camera we, we converted it, that, to my recollection, converted it to a five-hole pull-down. The decision to use five holes was simply based on the idea that you wanted to reproduce the more or less the the uh, the, the uh, uh, parameters of of, of, uh, of a Cinerama, and it was, and also the limitations on height. You know, you couldn't go too high because you, you were limited by the preceding march, which set a limit. But mostly it was an attempt to get about the same proportions as the, as the center of the yeah. uh, screen, and, and five holes was enough for that. And of course, if you want one more hole, that was an expensive addition. <laughs> That's how much more the film would cost uh, each time you could Well, I gave him my five-minute lecture on, on Oklahoma. I said, did he, did he know anything about how the how far they all were? <laughs> and he, didn't, he knew about it, but he didn't know very much about it. And I, I showed him a frame. In fact, I gave him a frame. I said, here, keep this. You might need it next time around. But he was glad to hear something about it. 30 frames per second. It's hard to Seeing until sometime after we were doing it for months, I think someone brought in a, a copy of the uh, of the recording of the soundtrack, uh, just of the music, 
and then at least we got the music to go <laughs> with, the, with the film. But other than that, we didn't know what they were saying. And of course, we saw the same scenes over and over and over again as we were trying to make a corrected print. And uh, it, 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 was, it was a strange time, a strange time, but in a way, this brings it back. Do you remember seeing the process like this on a curved screen with a correction and distortion correction? Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, no. we, uh, we, we projected these films. In fact, what the, 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 the incredible thing is that we actually used the corrected print for the opening. And uh, that was probably a mistake because it, uh, it would have been more sensible to show the contact print from projectors located directly opposite the screen to get the maximum effect of the quality of, of, of Tadeo when it was properly done because we were, it was premature to show the corrected print. But I, I think the, 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 the marketing of the, of the process is based on the idea that you, you would be able to show the picture from the upper booth, which is the way it was shown in right. Italy at the opening, on the opening night. And that was probably a mistake. Mike Todd realized that later on, and he did not show uh, around the world in eight days from the, from the booth. He had a, he, there was a special booth built at the front of the mezzanine uh, that they had cut back the mezzanine to make uh, more uh, essential to make uh, this possible to have such a projection booth. And that's what he used. And of course, the opening of, of Around the World in 80 Days was much more impressive than, uh, than uh, Oklahoma because he was using contact prints that were beautifully made and with the, with the best color and the best timing and all the rest of it. Um, that was probably, was probably a, a, a bad call. We weren't quite ready with the corrected print. If we had shown a, a magnificent print, we would have gotten the finest reviews. No one cared, as far as the reviewers are concerned, at that point. Then, at some later time, in my opinion, it would be possible to show that this, was, this could also be projected from a standard booth and a standard theater. It was unnecessary at that point. No. Those, those, those booths were all set in the, in the mezzanine to show to show the, uh, the, 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 the print straight out, and it would have been a super cinerama, it really would have been. Okay.